It was like a feather. It came down super fast and like no sound at all. It tore down all the wires. We had no power. It was quite crazy. <laughs> And now you're here some five days later. Did you ever think it would take this long? Uh, no, it's been a very long time. So they were out without power for three days. That's one Leslieville resident reacting to the long-awaited tree removal from the middle of their street, days after the storm that hit us last week. A few cars were damaged and the hydro lines were taken down on Leslie near Girard. The homeowner whose car was damaged told us he's frustrated it took this long for city crews to clear the street. And take a look at this damage from a 120-year-old oak here on Waverly Road near Woodbine Beach. This bad boy came crashing down onto Frank Tino's car also on Wednesday. And get this, he had just moved his car onto the street because he was doing parking pad renovations. A little bit of, you know, not a lot of luck there for him. And guess what? He's still waiting for the city to remove it from the street. For about five days since the storm, and we're, you still have a giant tree on your car. What's the holdup? Um, we're not sure. We've been contacting city people. We've been on the line at 311 uh, myself probably three or four times, my wife uh, twice, other neighbors, uh, the, the, the owner of the vehicle behind mine, the white car, she's been on the phone with them for three times and a couple of other neighbors. And there's always different stories about it. It's, it's, it hasn't been reported. Yes, we're looking into it. There's no record of it. What's the claim number? We don't have one. So it's a bit frustrating that way to, to, to not really know what the, the full story is and when the action is going to take place to, to get a result. The city tells us they've received more than 1,600 calls for service related to tree failure since the windstorm. They hope to get all the most pressing calls uh, done and fixed by June 25th. A total of 95 people, including extra staff, are working extended hours to try and get it all done. Normally try to respond to all the tree failures within a 72-hour period. So this is going way beyond that. In terms of where this storm hit, it hit the south-central portion of the city the hardest. They probably got about 80% of the calls for the edge of tree, city tree failures. So we've kind of cleaned up a little bit on the outskirts, and now we're sending our resources down into that area to speed things up. And this is how busy they truly are. Urban forestry typically gets around 7,000 calls a year for city-owned tree failures. And so far this year, well, they already crossed the 6,000 mark.